When Abraham and Lot tried to live together in the land of Canaan, they found there was not enough room for both their herds to live. They had to separate. So Abraham gave Lot the choice of the best land, and then he would go the other way. Lot chose to live near the city of Sodom. That was the best land, the greenest grass. But the city itself was very sinful. While Abraham was trusting God for the future, Lot moved into the city with his family. However, the time came when just as God judged the world of sin with Noah's day, so he would judge Sodom and Gomorrah for their sin. God told his plans to destroy the city to Abraham. Abraham tried to negotiate with God to save the city. Abraham was not only concerned about Lot, he did not request for God to simply save Lot and bring him out. Abraham tried to negotiate for the whole city to be saved. And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Peradventure there be fifty righteous within the city. Wilt thou also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? Abraham asked God, If there are fifty righteous people, will you destroy the city? God agreed with Abraham's deal. He would spare the city for fifty righteous people. But then Abraham started to worry. What if there were less than fifty? Peradventure there shall lack five of the fifty righteous. Will thou destroy all the city for lack of five? And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. So again Abraham asked God, For forty-five people will you spare the city? And God agreed he would save the city for forty-five righteous people. But then Abraham still worried, What if there were less? So he asked God for forty, thirty, twenty, and even ten people, ten righteous people, who were willing to follow God, would he spare the city? And God agreed, if there were ten righteous people, ten people willing to follow God, he would not destroy the city. And there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. God sent angels to count the people in the city, to see if the city would be saved or if the righteous needed to be removed. The angels found Lot, his wife, and two daughters. There were also two men who were going to marry Lot's daughters, but there were lacking two more. And the angels told Lot of God's plan to destroy the city, but when Lot told his sons-in-law who were going to marry his daughters, they would not believe him. It was just him, his wife, and two daughters, four people still willing to follow God. God would not destroy the city with the righteous in it, so he had the angels bring Lot out of the city. However, when they had gone into Lot's house, the people of the city saw the angels and wanted to hurt them. Imagine the wickedness of the men of that city. They were willing to hurt new visitors because that was their desire. They wanted to sin so much, or their hearts were bent toward sin so much that they immediately jumped to violence. The angels had to blind the crowd outside so that they could not see. They could not even find Lot's door, and so the angels were able to bring Lot out. But Lot had a problem. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, and the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth, and set him without the city. Lot was not willing to leave the city. He knew it was sinful. He knew it was about to be destroyed. But he got into a sinful place, and he found it hard to leave. Sin is tricky. Sometimes it can seem innocent and small at first, but then it can be hard to leave once we've been doing it for a while. So the angels pulled Lot out and told him to go to the, go to the mountains to escape. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. As Lot and his family ran from the city, 
God rained down fire to destroy them. But Lot's wife turned back to look. The words here mean more than a quick glance. She lingered, her gaze looked on Sodom with a desire for the sin of that city. In that moment, she turned from following God's escape plan and desired the sin of Sodom more. And so she became a pillar of salt. The world is full of sinners, like you and me. But God has an escape plan. We all deserve the judgment of eternal separation and pain from God. But he has made a way to escape it, his way, through Jesus Christ who paid for our sins. If we follow that way, we can be saved. Don't linger in sin. Don't linger on whatever comforts you find in this world. Go to God. He knows the way out. He knows the way to escape destruction. The more we desire God, the easier it is to follow him and easier it is to resist sin.